the show and actually it turned out to be in Leeds so it's just a little bit. Nah, because it was sold to us as Leeds Hyde Park Butt Club so. <laughs> oh, I remember a bit of a PTSD moment. So I'm here at Hyde Park Book Club feet tonight and if you've seen my documentary about Riscus this is the um, exact spot where we started everything off where it was like George just looking at the camera being like oh I feel like shit to be honest man you alright? you alright? how are you feeling George? not feeling too good bit of traffic another, another shit journey shit journey today and big venue <laughs> and yeah I don't know it's like it was just a bit of a tough one because we'd driven from Brighton or we played Brighton the day before and it's weird being back. I think I might have PTSD or something. Hey there, feet. We tweeted uh, earlier, a few. well, I think it was about a month ago that we were going to have an interview in a pub. I said that the new album, What's Inside Is More Than Just Ham, was really the kind of album that... <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> it's, the kind of, it's the kind of album that, that demonstrates a tongue-in-cheek humility that means you could just go to, for a pint with feet and you know chat about current affairs chat about everything and here we are at a pub so firstly what, what do you make of this pub in Leeds Hyde Park quarter uh, is, is that capacity is that capacity the bar is just ram full uh, did you just think this was London Hyde Park and then agree to the show and actually it turned out to be in Leeds so it's just a little bit nah because it was sold to us as Leeds Hyde Park but club so, so. <laughs> <laughs> shotgun yep shot <laughs> What's inside is more than just ham. You know, I feel uh, an in introspective philosophical investigation into the nature of humanity. Also, the love story of a hot dog. So, is it really, I guess, about that searching for meaning? What, what, is, what is the album to you? Uh, about 10 songs. Um, I don't know, it's not really about anything. Maybe that's the point. Our music doesn't have to have a meaning, and sometimes trying to overanalyze things that detracts from you guys just making sounds that people like. And that's oh, what we're doing. tracks about a hot dog, it's not, it's not that. Uh, the other track is also, you know, you, you, conventionally the catchy single, but. The, you, the one you went for the title track with is like the seven minute weird synth epic rather than the, I don't know, catchy radio friendly hit of Petty Thieving. Uh, yeah, I think it's just the sound culminates all of our intentions of the future. It's very political, extremely political, um, especially the, the title track. I think it really cements us on that political spectrum. Yeah, um, it's quite a bold statement really uh, in terms of our political outreach. And um, yeah, I believe Labour wanted to use it for their campaign, but we uh, we were, you know, we'd been talking about it, but we're not sure. Go for a brand deal with Spam or something, if they wanted to. I don't know, or what would... Vegetarian range, probably. Are you guys actually vegetarians? Or? Yeah. I'm, a ve I'm a vegetarian, so... Christmas song yesterday. Have you had the meatless marinara yet? No, I haven't had that yet. Yeah, it's real. I've had it. It's in, it's in, Bur no, it's only in Birmingham and, it's only in Birmingham, Manchester. It's banging. It's best, best fish. Can you can't say that. You're from Coventry. If, right, right, right. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Where are you from? Bromsgrove. Yeah. Bromsgrove is, Bromsgrove is the Coventry of Birmingham. So. Meatless marinara, so what, what's there's a subway that is a meatless marinara, meat free meatballs, meat free meatballs, a brand new sub. It's absolutely cracking. It's absolutely top notch. 
But well, how many members of Feet actually grew up in Coventry then? You met at the uni and formed in a seat. So we just went to university there, not the college. I did in Colf, but apart from that, that's I mean that's sort of where the uh, thank you. that's sort of where it ends for with Colf. I still like it. Go back there occasionally. The opening line, Good, good Richard's crash landing, but a reference of saturated grey, or, or what's the actual line? Uh, <laughs> looking out of this, looking out. Jesus, I'm looking out. It's just a song about wearing coloured sunglasses. Looking out at uh, this gentrified, uh, gentrified wasteland, soaking it, soaking in the saturated grey. Yeah. It's a very British image, and I think throughout the album you're kind of flitting between those kind of real uh, English weather as well. Uh, to be honest, I, I wouldn't necessarily rate English weather as like a particularly well-written biography of England or English summertime. Um, if anything, it was just like a, a stab at it. Yeah. It was like, kind of went up for the batting, but I don't think we knocked out too many runs. No, no, no. There's more to come. There is yeah, more exactly. to come. I think I like most about Feet is the commitment to really strong themed videos and fancy dress, like a, a wonderful spectrum, worthy of a thing any upcoming indie band. You know, it was what was it, Policeman in uh, Outer Rim, Petty Thieven was the, the Robin Hood slash Knight little narrative. So, it, who, who directs these videos? They seem to have like a, a spirit, like a connection to them almost. There's the same kind of spirit. Is it all your vision? Well, I mean, like, I write out the little story and then it's like a group effort of, I guess... You'll throw the shit at the wall and just exactly see what, see what stick. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like, the farm... In the Outer Rim video, that was, like, my uncle's farm. Well, not my direct yeah, uncle. The Zona farm. Yeah, yeah. And was that at all inspired by Red Dead Redemption 2? Or was it just a coincidence that it was... A cow with him. I reckon his uncle had the farm way before that well, game. I mean, for you guys wanting to go there with the kettles and the cowboy outfits. Oh, that one. Uh, no, that wasn't actually mine. I can't claim that one. <laughs> Is it true that someone brought a kettle to one of your shows and lost it though? That's commitment. Yeah, that was in Brighton. Fair play, fair play to them. Brighton go hard by the seaside. It's full of carling. A kettle full of carling. How many pints goes into a kettle? Six cups. Yeah. It smelled of carling. It had sort of a carling aura about it. You know, it was a basics kettle. He didn't push the boat out on that kettle. Do you have a lot of fun doing those videos though? Or is it actually just really serious when the camera's off? Like a professional. It's, it's a little stressful to an extent, but yeah. at the same time, you are dressed up as like a policeman, or you're in knight's armor, or you're in something else. You know, there's a level of creativity, but it's kind of mindless stupidity that leads itself to a, a deadline eventually. But, yeah. <laughs> Your album, a concept album, or is it a little too abstract? I'd was into what could be conceptual, but we didn't go into it. You just needed an album to release, to be honest. Yeah, I find really interesting. Obviously, I'm, I'm guessing you're still quite close to Declan McKenna. Your mates with him, we're on tour with him. Pop on what's that? Ten minutes away from the bastards. Yeah. Can't escape him. His new song, British Bombs, a real kind of English, full English breakfast theme, and he's using that to talk about like the kind of, I guess, the, the traditional British empire and the imagery around it with like pubs and greasy breakfasts and then you have an album that's called What's Inside Is More Than Just Ham. That song is metaphorical uh, for ham, in fact. The Britain thing, I don't know. It's, it's more, I reckon he was trying to do, get himself towards the sort of ham idea.
we'll go for that. Are we all just are we all just hot dogs searching for our bun, really? Or yeah, I mean, you can blow it into whatever you'd like, really. But on a base level, it's just about it's it, well, it's just an observation about food that relates. You, you can make it relate to uh, you know something else. Thank you so much for chatting to me, Feet. Hopefully we can get served. It's looking like a heady queue, but uh, what's, what's in the future for Feet then? Anything grand? Anything exciting? Food ship? A food show? Celebrity MasterChef? Is that too soon or? No, Graham Norton's uh, would love to go on that. Uh, what else? What would you say on Graham Norton? What would you say on Graham Norton? Would you, ju would you thank... Would straight to Graham Norton. Yeah. What? Jules Holland shouted out BBC Introducing Artists, all of whom suspiciously are on labels, but he did it. Uh, yeah. He's really changed the whole landscape of that tweet. Yeah, Redefined it, sort of. Well, I mean, I've only seen it on YouTube. <laughs>